This company lost its shares and profit which went completely down. When it came to the decline stage of this particular company, it almost fell. It was in the verge of shutting down. And this company changed over 10 CEOs in the decade of 2 or 3. This almost was such a revolutionary change when this company which was almost going down came up. Well, I am Vasha Renukumar and welcome to the Freedom Business English channel. Do not forget to subscribe and download our Freedom app. I am talking about this great food chain venture called as the Burger King. Burger King was almost going to the stage of diminishing or decline. But everything changed when it came to this one person. I am going to tell you who this one person was and what he changed and why and what are the secret strategies that this person used in this video. Continue watching this video to know what these strategies are so even you can use it by understanding how this worked for them. We all remember Burger King as one of the greatest food venture when it comes to burger and everything changed. Something went wrong in the initial stage of Burger King that they had to put their company down. When it came to the food venture, everything has to go in a systematical manner. But this did not work for Burger King. Everything happened to be in a shaken procedure. But one thing changed is that they changed the entire structure of the business. They just did not see the sales or production or how the employees are working. They understood what is wrong in this business because they changed almost 10 CEOs and nothing was working out for them. But over the time, something had to happen because this company was at the verge of its end. We all know Burger King as the most successful venture. Even when it came to the pandemic, they were doing really good because people like fast food. Well, let's say we were talking from the year of 2009. There was something wrong with this company. They were lacking a lot of things. They were lacking a lot of things when it came to the production or understanding how the business runs. But what changed to this? This change bought them a revolution all over the country and all over the world, we say. When we think about what was happening and why this entire thing changed, we can say that back in 2009, McDonald's was doing great. They never had a fall in their venture. They always were a growing sector when it comes to food. But they were developing new products, coming up with new ideas and they were readily thinking about the next step. But Burger King could not keep up with this. Burger King was actually falling down. Their shares and their profit completely went down. Their entire structure of the business was falling apart. When it came to Burger King, actually they had changed more than 10 CEOs over 2 or 3 decades. Everything fell apart even when it came to the share profit because it was below 16%. Everything was collapsing one by one. As the saying goes, you can never expect the change from the world until unless you are the change in it. So, Burger King had their falls, they had their ups and downs, but their strategy changed the market even over McDonald's. When it came to understanding why the Burger King was falling apart, this person started thinking about the fundamental causes and problems what was happening. When he understood why he had to start this business and why he had to research and make sure this business grows, he thought that he has to start from the ground level. He ended up reaching to the kitchen, started working with all the other employees in the kitchen. This is what everyone has to do. Understand what is happening in their business by going and getting down to the work where the problem starts from. So when it came to understanding the problems, he understood what is going wrong and what is the sole purpose that this business is not growing. When he stepped into the kitchen, he thought that he should start serving. He started making the burger, he started using the process that their employees were using and then got down to the structure of the business. And when it came to understanding of the problem, he determined that the entire menu what Burger King had was so messed up, nobody could understand that the menu was in so much disorder and messed up that people could not choose which burger to eat or which burger they liked. The menu had so many things in it and the customers including the employees were getting confused what to make. So this person actually understood that he had to get the menu down. He had to make sure that they were only selected burgers and this could also affect their margin of profit. But this person had to take the risk. There's nothing that you can gain without taking the risk. So this person ended up taking the risk. This person made sure that this menu is brought down to very few burgers that the customers can select. Second problem that he realized that there were too many items to be added in the burger. There were too many sauces and there were too many ingredients that they were randomly adding and they could not determine their perfect product. 
that is where all the employees who were working in the kitchen went mad they couldn't understand which to use and they were more confused and this changed when this man understood that there were only few selected items to be involved in the product so that they can give the customers what they required and later when it came to thinking about how the product is made this particular person realized that they never had a signature dish while all the other food ventures were growing by taking one signature dish that their customers would go back and buy what was that one thing that they were lacking is that they did not know how to make the signature dish that's when he started rethinking and understanding what could be their signature dish that got the attention of the crowd and then he came up with this whooper burger when it came to this particular signature dish whooper became their campaign product they started using these whooper burgers that was so attractive to their customers and made the ads in such a way that people were craving for it if you can actually see the statistics almost more than 90% of their customers were loyal customers to the whooper burger this is how he used his signature dish as his brand and thinking about this signature dish this changed the face of burger king this was one of the highest margin food product that was getting them more and more revenue whooper burgers were craved by a lot of people and now also whooper burgers are still in trend and after 2010 this brand became very successful as we know the story about burger king the way they came up to success we also have to relate to their sales this particular person also changed the face when it came to sales why was their sales improving because this particular person thought about savings hardly people think about savings when it comes to a company or business but he started saving in a different way that nobody else thought when we talk about savings this person actually started thinking all the way from the bottom this person started thinking about saving all the way from even pen and paper he started thinking over and over what were the unnecessary causes that were coming and getting them so much expenses but when he actually sat down and wrote all his unnecessary requirements that people and company was using he cut them down the biggest move that he made which i would say was a bold move that he sold the corporate jet which was actually very time consuming for the corporates to travel to the other place and tell them about the meeting and how the entire thing went so he sold this corporate jet and came down to the virtual calls this person started making their executives have a corporate call so this could cut down on a lot of things and help them save this was one of the boldest move that this person could do because this got them a lot of savings and made sure that this savings was used for an other cause after he made all these savings this actually helped him save more than 3 lakhs on just meetings but this person also started saving from unnecessary requirements for the company all of this savings the way he used it was actually brilliant when it came to marketing we all know the way burger king actually had the marketing strategy for they started thinking of picking a rival and all the savings went into marketing that was the smoothest flow that any person could think of the marketing strategy as we all know today bought in a clown and made them their rivals mcdonald's and burger king rivalry has been going from a long time we know the way that they made their entire ads in a competitive way against mcdonald's it's believed that to breed an amazing marketing strategy is only by conflict conflict can actually give you a huge marketing so that is where mcdonald's was their rival as we see the ads and the facebook post and even the social media incomes that they were getting was all in a rivalry way we could see people post placards of the way burger king showed mcdonald's and mcdonald's actually started replying to them everything happened in a most entertaining way that people started observing and understanding that burger king is the rival of mcdonald's people started recognizing burger king as a brand when it came to the product and they started concentrating on the burger king ads we all can actually say that as the years kept passing and years kept changing burger king always came up with innovative plans for their promotion including their marketing strategy and these were some of the things that they actually made use of when burger king actually started inviting the competition everything changed towards mcdonald's mcdonald's started replying so people also took part in this conflict and actually started this entire new campaign called as burn the ad and this was actually a revolutionary change when it came for branding the brand got famous and everyone knows what burger king is today when i tell about all these strategy as it comes to starting a business sales savings and marketing who is this one person who changed the entire face of burger king when i talk about this person in the entire video i did not actually mention who this person was 
Since he changed the entire structure of the Burger King, I'm going to tell you this person was none other than the CEO Daniel Schwartz. He was actually the CEO appointed by 3G Capital when they merged with the Burger King. They actually bought him into this business. One thing that we don't know about Daniel Schwartz is that he has no experience and could not understand the entire business of the food. As we see, he started all the way from ground understanding how to make this business successful when it comes to profit margins and he changed the strategy when it came to competition. He also made sure the marketing and branding was done in a perfect way. So if you think you have to do this even for your business and understand the entire sector of improving your business, you can actually be the next Daniel Schwartz. And if you want to learn more about business, do not forget to download our Freedom Map which has many courses depending on business and even on marketing. If you like this video, do not forget to like, share and comment. Comment the stories that you would want to know and you would want me to explain about that. Thank you. Oh, 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 oh,